All right, hello everyone. Um, hope you're all doing well. Okay, all right. So once in a while, I'll I'll um, start with a blank slate and then I'll create the class from from uh, from scratch. So you get used to creating classes and then and in your main method, right? Because every program is going to have um, one public class, right? Each one of your programs is going to have one public class, right? And it's going to have a main method also. And so we mentioned this a couple of times, but I'll, once in a while I'll do this just so we can see it. So you know, get used to the method, um, the idea, um, the process. And so I'm creating a public class, right? We talked about that. So this, you know, we, we didn't really, you know, um, we, we, we talked about the process and, it, and what it serves, the purpose it serves, right? I just want you to get used to it, and that's why we're doing this. So public class, let's call this LAN Java. This is the class name. Class names, remember we said we should start it with capital letters. And it has a container, that's the class header. Now our main method, well, let's have another line. We, we, we mentioned that lines don't really, are not really part of the code, it's just for us, so we can read our code well. And so now let's create the main method, public static void main. We mentioned that the main method, right, don't worry about what, what really goes in here, we'll talk about that once we get ahead. But then we, we mentioned the fact that the every each one of your programs is going to have a main method, and your main method is basically a method is basically a series of code that is wrapped to get wrapped around, okay, wrapped, you know, wrapped up, okay, with, with curly braces, opening and, and and closing curly braces, a series of code that is basically wrapped up and given a name, and any time you call the name, those a series of code in that method is run. Don't don't worry too much about it. I just want you to get used to. Uh, used to creating a class and then a main method, right? This opening curly brace, okay, okay, it has a matching closing curly brace, and that's the con that's that's like a container for your program. The public class serves as a container for your program, and in that container, because this is an opening and this is a closing, and so this class is containing this method, and this method also is con going to contain our code that's going that's you know, basically our program. You can see that. Over here is an opening curly brace, and this is a closing curly brace, and, and so it's like it's containing something that we're going to type in between it. But that's this is just to get you uh, you used to the, um, creating a class, and so don't worry about it too much. But but at least know how to do that and get used to it. Okay, and so, and if you wanted to know more about you know at least the first few things we said about it, um, go back. Um, please go back to um, the videos, the early videos, and then watch them. Okay. All right, so now let's talk about declaring multiple variables of the same type. So let's first of all declare multiple variables. Um, you know, let's say the way we know how to do it. So I'm going to declare an integer. I'm going to call it um, my age, right? And I'm going to declare another integer, and I'm going to call it my um, friends. Okay. Age. Okay, now I can. Um, I'll just. Oops, I missed something here. I'll, I'll just use something else. I'll just say. Um, my. I'll just say my school. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's that's going to be a string. Um, I just say number. I'll call it a number. Okay. And then I'll, I'll, I'll declare another integer and call it. Let's say. Um, I don't know. It it could be anything. So I'd say number of books, right? And then now let's declare. Let's say doubles, right? I'm declaring a double, and I'll call it um, value of um, a book, right? And then I'll call this um, my first double, right? Okay, so I've declared these variables. Actually, let's add one more. Let's add another one here and call it my second double. I've declared these variables. You can see that all these, th the first three are integers, right? And, this, and the, basically, these, the, the last three, okay, they're all, they're all doubles. I can go ahead and I can initialize them, give them values. I can say my age, right? It's an integer, so I'll say I'll set it to, let's say, 27 All right that's that's my age and then number I'll set it to 2 number of books I'll set it to 
56. Value of book, of a book. The, now these are just names I came up with, so that it may not actually make sense. I'll set it to 5.6, right? And this has to match the value. I missed. I missed it. And then my first double. That's actually not my, not not our first double. I'll set it to 66.5. And then my second double. I'll set it to 67.6. And then now we can go ahead and display. The value system dot out print ln, and then we can say my age, right? Well, we, we can use multiple print statements. In the other one, we used one, but let's use multiple pre, uh, print statements for this one. Well, first of all, let's let me just type in my age, right? Let's say my my age, right? It's going to be concatenated with the value of my age. I'm making a copy of this line. And the next one is going to be number. Actually, let's use the name of the variable itself. Say my age. Number is going to be called to number. And then number of books. Meaning that the value of number of books is number of books. And then value of a book, right? Let's just make a copy of it. Is going to be value of book. And then my first double is going to be concatenated with the value of my first double. Let's actually have colons here and a space. And then let's have this here. Okay, which is going to be my second double. I'll type this. And then over here, it's going to be my second double. Compile this and then run it. And it displays the value of all of them. But notice we declared three variables here of type integer. And we declare three variables you have type double. We don't have to declare them on multiple lines, although we can, although it works, right? We can actually, if the variables are of the same type, we can declare them on the same line. Okay, so we start with a type of int, right? And we declare the first variable. If the second variable of this is of the same type integer, we don't have to say it again. We can just put a comma here, right? And say number. So I'm going to delete this int number here. In other words, we've declared an integer, okay, of type my age and number. Basically, we've declared two variables, my age of type integer and number of type integer. We don't have to say int my age, int number. Even, even when we separate them with comments, right, we don't have to say int my age and int number. We just say int, and we, then we have our multiple variables, as long as they are all of the same int type. So over here, we know that number of books is an integer, and so all we have to do is just put a comma here type a number of books delete this this line so we declared we've declared three variables now all of type integer okay we've done those those you know basically th those three statements we've done them all in the same line all right the same thing for this all right let's just this was called my first double and this was called my second double i'm going to go ahead and comment uh, comments them out with two slashes so the and so as as uh, as long as the, um, as far as the program ex um, co is concerned, th these two lines they don't exist. It's just a comment for our eyes only. And so now I want to create a second double, right? I don't have to declare it again and type in the double, right? Because I've already declared a type here. If I separate them to com comma, what I mean it, it means that I'm creating another variable of type double, and I'm going to call it my first double. Okay, I want to add another double. I'll call it my second double so I don't need these two lines anymore because now in two lines okay I had six lines before but now in two lines 
Okay, in two lines, I've created six variables. Okay, I've created three integer, var integer variables and three double variables. All you have to do is just separate them with commas here. And so when I compile this, you can see it, it still compiles well when I run it. Nothing changes. It's still the same thing. Okay, change of values here a little bit to, let's say, 67. I don't know. This is what? 96. Compile it. Run it. You can see 67 here, 90, 96 here. Okay, and so that's um, that's a, sh a, a kind of a shortcut, right? Because if you declare variables, let's say twelve variables of the same type, instead of declaring them all, all you know, on declaring them on on twelve twelve lines, you can declare them all on one line, right? This way, and so that's that's a way to declare multiple variables of the same type. Okay, or, or, or multiple variables of the same type on one line. All right. So if you have any questions, right? Please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then. Bye-bye.